I've asked the recipients of Candy Eye to come up with me. amin, magandang gabi sa inyong lahat. Good evening. Candy Eye was a constant presence in our home when I was growing up. Mamang, my maternal grandmother, had the radio tuned in to the station as she went about her daily chores and activities. Filipino songs, news of the homeland, dedications, and a program that began with Dear Manong Bernie, a Dear Abby advice sorts of column, relate personal stories. My grandfather's cousin, Faustino Respicio, some of you may know him as the take it away guy on, Filipino TV, um, on the Filipino program on TV. And if you know him, then you're probably around my age or a little older. Um, when he created Filipino Fiesta, he did it not just for entertainment, but to build pride and appre appreciation of the culture of Filipino immigrants. Growing up as an um, immigrant here in Hawaii, it was not easy to be labeled an immigrant and with the um, stereotypes that came with that. Candy Eye has been invaluable in helping immigrants and migrants adjust to life in Hawaii while maintaining the connection to their homeland. Now more than ever, programming in multiple languages has helped families like my own through the past two years of the pandemic with updated information and also comfort and reassurance from trusted sources. I'm happy to welcome Lola Maggie Domingo, who is here with us today right there as um, the, one of the most trusted voices in the community and has been on the air for over 50 years, and mind you, before the sun rises at four o'clock in the morning. Many of the radio hosts are leaders in the community. Among them was Tony Sagayodoro, a dear friend who was the host of Buhai Hawaii. The word Buhai means life in Tagalog, and as an organ recipient, he was given the gift of life, and in turn, he gave the gift of love. He did an incredible job of educating people on the delicate issue of organ donation and made strides in putting people at ease about it. That's what many of the hosts of the programs in different languages do on the radio station KNDI. Leona Jonah, she can't be here with us today, but she's the former owner of KNDI. She moved the station from the international marketplace in Waikiki to its current location across Makali Zippies. If you blink, you probably will not see the house that's to the left, right across um, Zippies. A refugee from Hungary, Leona struggled, as many immigrants do, to learn the English language and get acclimated to Hawaii's multicultural society. She found a sense of belonging among the Candy Eye family and was tireless in her work to support others' transition successfully. Leona received many community awards for her efforts to um, promote language access, but perhaps her greatest joy has been just to help the community. She waited to retire until the people with the same heart to serve the community, the ethnic communities, came along. In 2013, Nellie and Jerry Malabed Jr. bought Candy Eye and the station continues to thrive as a vital resource to our community. It is with honor that I now, um, on behalf of the legal clinic, present this 2022, that word is here somewhere, <laughs> this 2022 Guardians of Immigrant Justice Award to Candy Eye Radio, 1270 AM. Ex please come forward. Accepting on behalf of the Malabeds and the Candy and Dear family are Marshallese program host Kelly Boken and host of Funorama Brian Munoz, who carry on his father's legacy. Yeah, they've been doing junk and poets to who would go first, but I, I think uh, Brian won out in this one. First of all, I'm looking at everyone. Everyone looks great and happy, so give yourselves a hand. Uh, I'm, thank you very much. <laughs> and um, I'm very honored to be here. It's a wonderful event. Thank you, Legal Clinic, and everyone who's a part of this. Uh, I want to, again, say thank you, Agnes, because she mentioned my father's program, the late Mr. Bernie Munoz. 
uh, Manang Bernie, uh, Linabak Tunapalabas. That's the reason why I'm a major part of King Dai Radio, and it's a blessing to be there with, along with all the multi ethnic groups. I want to acknowledge some of my mentors when I first came on board King Dai. Nana Maggie Domingo, she's sitting right here. She has her radio program still going strong. She's up 3.30 in the morning, ladies and gentlemen, on the weekends, uh, Saturday and uh, Sunday morning, 5 to 7 a.m. And I happen to notice also our former Tongan DJ, Mr. Ongo Koli, uh, Pastor Ongo. He was one of my mentors. <laughs> and then thank you to Kelly Boken, our Marshallese program. So on behalf of um, my father, the late Mr. Bernie Munoz, the owners, former Leona Jonah and uh, my uncle Jerry and Auntie Nelly Malabed, and all of the uh, multi-ethnic DJs at KDI Radio, we want to say thank you very much for this award and just for everyone acknowledging us as a major part into the community and also the Ethnic Education Hawaii. Thank you all. Mabuhay and aloha. And now my co-colleague, co-worker Kelly Boken of the Mar Marshallese program. All right, in Marshallese, we said Yakwe. On behalf of uh, KNDI and also the Marshallese community, um, you know, here in, here in Honolulu, we're very honored. Um, when we started the pandemic, when we, um, it first came to Hawaii, it was very difficult because uh, most of our people could not understand the language. So we did that through the radio show by translating all those stuff that was by Department of Health. All those important um, things that um, you know our people had difficult these understanding, so we wanted to understand. So when we did that, our numbers was very high with the Pacific Islanders, basically my community. But then after a few, um, you know, few few times of getting all those messages on the radio, then our number went down. So we wanted to thank you, um, KNDI Special Legal Clinic, and everyone for uh, coming in today. Thank you very much. We said komotada.